by what do you think is the Hi. most overcrowded trade right now? Well, it's interesting. I would have said that the reopening trade, where we were buying just the names such as casinos, hotels, airlines, was really overcrowded a couple of weeks ago. That's backed off a little bit. We're seeing a much broader market. You know, since the middle of February, Andrew, 73.5% of S&P stocks are, are ahead of the index. Last, number, last year, that was 35%. So the market is brought in into names that are both, you know, industrials, which are reopening financials, but we're seeing some of the uh, companies that were hot last year that have fallen start to show a little bit of life. Facebook, for example, Facebook and Google, they're moving higher because they're going to benefit from companies advertising to consumers who are getting stimulus checks, and they're going to spend that money. So, I, you know, you're beginning to see more of the market uh, moving positively as a, a benefit of what we right. know is a big number of GDP growth. OK, let's, let's talk about a couple of stocks that you like. Uh, in particular, I'm curious about Peloton, because I know that's something that you've, uh, you've, you've now invested in. It's, uh, it, it went on quite a run. It had a pullback. Where are you at? Well, we've been watching Peloton. We didn't own it last year. We watched it. We had a price target around $100 a share, and it hit it. I mean, the stock was down, you know, 35 percent. And we think that this is a new type of business, that they're a first mover. They have an advantage. They haven't even touched the addressable market in the world. And, you know, there's no reason that Peloton can't continue to grow and put up very good numbers for the next, you know, five plus years. So we did the work on it and we waited and we, we bought it. And it was interesting yesterday. It was a strong stock. Yesterday, the names on the top of our list were like Peloton, Twilio, and then Remax. That's a real estate brokerage firm and Wabtec, which makes uh, locomotives and rail cars. So that's uh, you know that's something that we haven't seen in you know maybe a year. That kind of combination of names up at the top of the right. leaderboard. So you know we okay, think well, let, that's about back. GDP we, growth. I don't know if you can see the screen, but we got Twilio up there too. That's another stock that went on quite a tear. At this point, yeah. you still feel confident. Yeah, so Twilio was a stock that we bought last January. We bought it again in March, and we have cut it back four times because of the tremendous growth. You know, when you get the, uh, the little text message to say, you know, you can go into your dentist's office now, that's from Twilio. It used to be Uber, but they shifted, you know, dramatically and well. So the stocks come down. We think at this level, you know, it's attractive. These names that were arc, big ARC holdings, that dropped, you know, 20 to 40 percent. Some of them are oversold, and that's the type of name we, you know, we like right here. And we think, you know, it just has an enormous runway. Accelerated right. growth last year, but you know, now it's come back. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.